Hello everyone. We always say think and act, but we don't get time for that always. In such cases, it's the reflex action that saves us. For example, if you touch something very hot, your hand may get burnt within 2 seconds, but actually you were able to move your hand within fraction of a second and it was a reflex action. But how is the reflex action executed so fast? Let us see. As you know, the part of our brain that controls all the thinking and decision making is cerebrum and it is located in the forebrain. Also, our voluntary movements are controlled by cerebellum which is located in the hindbrain. But in case of emergency, we don't get time for that much coordination with the brain. In fact, you may think when you touch a flame, but when you move away your hand quickly, you don't need to think and reason. You just do it and it's a reflex action. So the nerves that detect heat are connected to the nerves that can instruct muscles to contract in a simpler way to make response time many times shorter. Such a connection is known as reflex arc. As we know, the nerves from all over the body meet in a bundle in the spinal cord on their way to the brain. So reflex arcs are formed in the spinal cord itself making the response quicker. Although the information input also goes on to reach the brain. So exactly how does a muscle move because of the reflex action? First, let us clarify the different types of nerves involved in the process. Neurons that receive information from our sensory organs and transmit this input to the central nervous system are called afferent neurons. These are also called sensory nerves. Also, neurons that send impulses from the central nervous system to our limbs and other organs are called efferent neurons. These are also called motor nerves. Now coming back, how does a muscle move because of the reflex action? Say something happened like you touched a flame. The stimulus that is burning flame stimulates the pain receptors of the skin. Then the pain receptors initiate an impulse in a sensory or the afferent nerve. Afferent nerve fibers carry the signal to the spinal cord. Then the signal passes through the short interneuron in the spinal cord to an efferent nerve that is motor nerve. Now, the impulse that efferent nerve carries acts as an instruction. The efferent nerve will carry the impulse to the muscle which needs to be contracted. This causes the muscle to contract and pull away from the flame. So we see reflexes do not require involvement of the brain. Here no thinking is involved and it saves a lot of time. In real life, most of our actions are actually controlled by both voluntary and involuntary pathways. Like when you are playing football, you don't need to think how to run or walk, but you do some tackles etc. which you do voluntarily. So to sum up what we learned today, reflex actions in humans are controlled by the reflex arc. Reflex arc is the neural pathway of impulses involved in a reflex action. There can be different types of reflex arcs but it is generally composed of afferent neuron, interneuron and efferent neuron. That's all for now. Bye-bye.